Who wants to pay 75 at the gate, come back to your car and it's gone. And with tow trucks circling the area near the fairgrounds, cars are quickly being hooked up and taken away. If they do park in the driveway, I've had heard of people actually calling the police to have them towed. During Jazz Fest last year, the city says 248 vehicles were towed, 122 were booted, and 1,384 tickets were issued. Parking enforcement personnel will be looking for cars parked illegally. To avoid a parking mishap, do not park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant, 20 feet of a crosswalk, intersection, or stop sign, or 3 feet of a driveway. And don't park on the sidewalk or neutral ground. And you certainly want to pay attention to no parking signs like this one. This car could potentially be ticketed or towed for parking in this spot. Also, make sure you're parking in the direction of travel. But finding a legal spot near the fairgrounds can prove to be a challenge. I'm a little frustrated because, again, I've been going around for about two hours, going to different locations, and you know, finally made it over here. If you absolutely have to drive, the best strategy would be paying to park in a permitted lot near the fairgrounds. This lot can fit about 500 vehicles and is charging $20. No, we don't want to break them. We want them to be able to come back and have repeat business. Closer by, you want 45 and 50. So I guess, you know, I'm just a little parking in the dirt for $20. It's just a little too much, I'm thinking, but what are you going to do? The city is encouraging festival goers to park in downtown lots and shuttle to the festival, take a cab, or use public transportation, which will stop within walking distance of the fairgrounds. They got bus routes. Uh, streetcar line, which lets you off right there at Esplanade Avenue, uh, and they could walk right to the right to the park. And if you can't get a lift, hop on two wheels and bike there yourself. Casey Ferrand, WDSU News.